finally fall, I know, but today I'm going to teach you how to do a colorful and tropical palm leaf painted cake. I think it's going to be a lot of fun. It's an easy cake. Once you get the technique down, it's all about controlling your brush. Once you get that down, it's going to be a piece of cake. You can finish painting a whole tier in no time. All right, it's going to be short and sweet, so just go ahead and subscribe to my channel and like this video if you haven't already and let's go paint some palm leaves. So here I've got my typical setup, some gel color with a little dot put in each well along with my vodka, could use water or other clear liquor, my bowl of water, some q-tips in case I mess up and I have a couple wells here filled with just clear vodka to clean up any messes if I need to and I'm just going to use these two brushes today. I have a um, thin liner and then a round brush with a pointed tip and these are both watercolor brushes. Okay so to paint the palm leaf all you want to do is come in with your thin liner brush and I'm going to make a straight line like that. Notice I did it in one continuous motion. My hand is rested on my turntable and the only thing that's moving is my wrist is rotating so I'm not having to like sketch out a line. So once I have that going, I will pick up my round brush and then all you have to do is start at the tip just with the tip of my brush with very light pressure and then I'm going to push down and as I push, as I move away from the stem, I'm going to push harder. And then when I get to about the length that I want the leaf, I'm going to lift and it's going to come to a point like that. So let's do it again. Reaching into the center part, I want some of the leaves to be a little darker. And then starting at the stem, light, press down, lift up. And these all go across from each other. The tip is a double spread out, but then these will all come away from each other at the center point. It's dripping so. I'm going to catch it with my brush so it doesn't drip too much. Step back. Push. And I'm going to go over the top piece. You notice the wet areas just kind of feed into each other. It's typically what happens. It will pool at the edge unless it's a lot extra it might drip down but then we would just clean that up just because I have so much uh, liquid in my brush. So I'm going to do that and this is the kind that's going to get a little bigger toward the bottom so each leaf will be a little wider than the one before. having some areas darker and lighter, like in this area. And you want them to all sort of have a little bit of movement, 
could be moving in a different direction and not all exactly the same or else it looks too stiff. I'm gonna close off the bottom. I'm just gonna come through the other direction and clean up the board later. But I really like how there's different darknesses and lightness in here and that's just from dipping into the center part of the pigment sometimes to get the darker color and then on the outer edges where it's more diluted to get the lighter colors. into some of this ink I have in my palette. Let's just do another one. It's gonna overlap. This one, since I'm going in a different direction, the stem is coming this way instead of this way, it's easier for me to drag my brush as opposed to pull my brush or push my brush. So for these, I'm gonna start at the end of the leaves and then end at the stem. So I'll start light out here or high up on the tip of the brush. And then as I go down, that wet a little bit, that's okay. So I pick up a little color and I'm going to dab it on my towel so that I can prevent excess dripping. It's going to drip sometimes, but I'm trying not to get it to drip too much. And then at the ends, if I want to taper out the tip a little bit, I can just clean off my brush, dip it in some vodka, and thin out the tip. That's all it is. It's so much faster than painting individual leaves with a tiny little brush. It's just pushing and lifting, and then you have a whole leaf. And I like overlapping the colors because you get a third color in there. And you get a variety, which makes it more interesting. Okay, so I'm just gonna go around the whole cake and I'll just play around with different colors so you can see how it looks. So I think that was a pretty easy cake, pretty fast. 
and uh, I like how the colors mixed. You got some purples going on right overlapped, some corals here, and some greens where that overlapped. So I can see just keeping going with this, just making a whole bunch of layers of these different leaves. I think it would be really pretty. 